Oh. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and welcome to yet another Talking Head video. Today, we're going to be talking about Ravencoin. And there's a ton of news going on with Ravencoin. One, we're going to be talking about if it's potentially mineable and profitable once ETH gets EIP'd or, of course, moves to proof of stake. And that is thanks to Bitsby Trippin. Then we also have why it went up in the first place, why it's going up and the speculation that is influencing that. And then of course, finally, we have to talk about the fact that the RTX 3060 12 gig appears to not be throttled when mining Ravencoin at this time. So before we get into it, no sponsors still on the channel. Don't worry, I'm still trying to talk to a few. But that just means I need you guys to go down and click the join button. The 199 option will get you access to the privately hosted rocket chat. That rocket chat obviously is created to prevent scammers, spammers, and bots so you can talk to real crypto enthusiasts. And that's the spiel for today. So without further ado, let's talk about Ravencoin. If you guys haven't heard about Ravencoin, it's been around since 2017. It was built off of the premise of basically being a hybrid between the good things of Bitcoin and the good parts of Ethereum. At the very base level, that's what I can say. It's still an asset coin. It's not necessarily a transaction coin like Bitcoin, but it follows the code base of Bitcoin as far as its halvings. The next halving is gonna be here in 2022, around January. Earliest will be around December of 2021. And at that point, what a halving means is that the total coins paid out per block will be cut in half. Right now it's at 5,000 coins and it will go down to 2,500 coins in 2022 or thereabouts. So if you guys haven't noticed, the price of Ravencoin has gone up. And so there's some reasons behind that that we're gonna talk about. Now, personally, I've talked about Ravencoin and some of my disappointments with their lack of development or pushing forward the coin seems to be lagging behind a lot of other ones but it does look like they have some movement going on and we have some verification of that so let's get into it all righty so first things first of course here's ravencoin the white paper you can go over all of it it's not x16r algorithm anymore it's kapow still kind of based off of the same thing but that is their asic resistance so this is for gpu miners this is probably the number one coin uh, that gpu miners are looking to mine if you talk to guys like bitsby trippin that run farms and so on and so forth so it is important what's happening with ravencoin from the perspective of gpu miners not necessarily asic miners or anything along those lines now here in coin telegraph which is basically a site that you can go for cryptocurrency news. They had an article that was talking about Icon, Ravencoin, and Lisk riding the bull wave on possible future developments. And it's key here that they use the word future developments because nothing has actually happened currently with Ravencoin. But in the article, it says it's not only upgrades or partnerships that catch traders' attention. Certain events can sometimes trigger demand, and that seems to have happened with Ravencoin. The GameStop saga showed that centralized entities never offer a level playing field to the retail trader and the large players wield their power and get their way. This intensified the discussion and the need for decentralization, and Ravencoin was one of the beneficiaries. GameStop stock price topped out on January 28th, and Raven started its up move on January 29th. The protocol allows anyone to tokenize their assets, which can be shares of companies, commodities, art, land, deeds, energy credits, fund tokens, and much more. So it's basically think of ERC-20 for Ravencoin. We'll set that to the side. So during strong bull phases, rumors also boost prices higher. The rumor doing rounds in the community forums of a possible Coinbase listing may have also provided fodder for the rally. Now, in my opinion, it's primarily the Coinbase announcement that is doing this. And that is because I can't find anything else as far as development goes. Now, they do make a good point, of course, about the decentralization aspect, Ravencoin being open source, 
the Raven coin being more decentralized than a majority of other coins, especially application coins, even more so than something like Conflex, because essentially it's you know not owned and operated by a group right and so at this point i can see the speculation there but i think it's more leaning along the lines of the pump being influenced by coinbase because once you start selling into coinbase etc i think if it does launch on coinbase we will see another rise in price if you take a look here at the tweet from ravencoin news you can see that they posted a clip from funkoma on reddit who said Raven submitted the Coinbase application in mid January and we met all of the criteria they asked us for. So now we play the waiting game. I'm not certain that Coinbase will announce any new listings until they finish their IPO, which should be a couple of months from now. But the expectation is that we will be approved for Coinbase. And as you can see here, it has 300 and 37 likes and 14 quote retweets with another 98 retweets. So this is making its rounds here. It's getting upvoted, of course, on Reddit. And it really played well into the timing of, of course, the pump of Raven, which was here pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, right? So we are currently at like 25 cents. This article was written a little bit ago. So once we got the con confirmation here, which was on February 18th, we saw that pump, which broke out of the barriers that Cointelegraph goes on to talk about where it was that 10 cents or whatever, and that resistance zone. So at this point, if we take a look at the Ravencoin price, you can see here that we're at 24 cents. And that big pump really happened within the last couple days, 18th, 19th, 20th. So you can see we're on a huge pump. So moving on from there, Bitsby Trippin released a video that you guys need to go check out. I'll leave links to it in the comment section. I'll pin the comment. And he said, uh, can mining survive after Ethereum? Critical analysis model of Ravencoin. So if the big crypto mining daddy himself with GPUs says Ravencoin, then I will say that we can be fairly certain that a lot of GPU miners are going to be influenced to go to Ravencoin. What he did here was an analysis essentially on how the Ravencoin network would be able to handle everybody moving from Ethereum to Ravencoin and what the price essentially of Ravencoin would need to be to support this. And it's really in the 40 cent mark is what it sounds like. And he has a mining model here that I'll link with the video down below. And he can explain it to you guys in the video and how the model works. But essentially it goes over the math needed to calculate the price of Ravencoin to support essentially the absorption of Ethereum GPU miners. Keeping in mind that you don't have to worry about Ethereum ASIC miners because it's a different algorithm, it's ASIC resistant. So if you're currently mining with Ethereum ASIC hardware, well, you're SOL, but we've talked about this before. So really good information from Bitsby Trippin. Highly recommend going and taking a look at it if you're trying to plan on long-term what you're gonna do with the mining and so on and so forth. Now, finally, we talked about the RTX 3060 basically getting nerfed for ethereum mining and a report from tom's hardware says despite nvidia's anti-mining lock rtx 3060 can still earn up to seven dollars a day mining and guess what it's mining it is mining of course the good old raven coin so this was actually sent to me from a fellow uh, crypto enthusiast and i will leave him unmentioned at this time in the news I guess in the new space for tech. And I had been aware of this, but we hadn't really seen enough confirmations on it. But what we've seen is that there's a, another mining YouTuber, I believe it's in Spanish. So I, I tried to read through the subtitles and so on, who did get his hands on a 3060. And he has found that it can make on Octopus and Cortex, and of course, Ravencoin, None of these algorithms are being blocked. It's only Ethereum. So 
you are going to be able to mine with these and do pretty well which is pretty incredible unless of course nvidia decides to once again patch yet another driver to go ahead and block this at the end of the day what does this mean for ravencoin well it, for ravencoin in particular i think we're going to see the price go up higher and higher until it hits the point of the coinbase launch and then there's just going to need to be some more rumors after that is it possible that it hits that 40 cents needed to absorb the ethereum miners it's pretty possible actually at this point especially with the coinbase listing where it's going to be questionable is if they can push past that and continue down their roadmap for development and make sure that you know developers have access to the network and probably a good wiki and able to develop on it and release projects on it remember any of these coins that are asset coins like ravencoin polkadot tron ethereum the projects built on top of them is what will drive the price of the coin up so it's really important that there that there will be successful projects built on top of ravencoin for it to continue to maintain that price if it does not maintain that price to absorb the ethereum gpu hash rate when it moves over then we're not going to be able to have a good option for gpu miners at least in the idea of ravencoin and you'd want to start looking at things like conflux the octopus there's lots of different options that we'll talk more and more in depth about as we move up, move through it in regards to ethereum and eip 1559 we are having kind of a round table tomorrow morning on sunday the 21st and that will be at 10 30 a.m and i believe that was let me double check because I need to make sure that I have the the time zone correct here. So I'm sorry, it will be 10 a.m. Central Time, which would be 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. on the East Coast. So if you guys want to participate in that in the comment section, I will be live streaming, as will Bitsby Trippin' and Red Panda Mining. Those are the ones I know confirmed that will be live streaming the fireside chat essentially with crypto miners. And then Bitsby Trippin later in the week is going to be representing the miners at, of course, the round table for Ethereum regarding EIP 1559. I think we'll learn a lot there. I'm going to be mainly sitting in and learning and then I will relay anything in the chat that you guys have uh, that I can ask Bits who is uh, much more knowledgeable on this particular subject than I am. So I'll try to relay that to you. So that should wrap it up. That's everything going on with Ravencoin. That's why the price is going up. There are my thoughts as far as what else Ravencoin needs to do for to maintain a proper price and absorb all of the GPUs moving over to it from Ethereum. And I hope that it was helpful in some form or fashion. If it was, leave a like and comment down below. Also, if you hit that sub button, that would be much appreciated. Only about 89% of you aren't subbed. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to catch up to Voss Coin or anything. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.